So with this video, we now going to learn how to connect with SQL Server in Python environment. So we will use that both type of connection, one with that authentication of Windows authentication, one with SQL Server authentication. Now this is my SQL Server. So just need to notice that server name, whatever it's coming it here. And now first time I will go and do with Windows authentication and later I will go ahead and do with SQL authentication. Okay. So once I click on connect, so it's connected successfully in SQL server. I have three different database here. So I'm going to use that now adventure work and I will go ahead and show it here. Any one of the table will try to select it and see that value. So suppose go for person and person. Select top thousand rows. Okay. So we'll see that in this way, we can try to see less number of rows. Okay. So now I will go back to Jupyter Notebook where we can see how to connect this one. To connect this first thing we need to import by ODBC. This is one library which we need to import to connect with that SQL Server. Okay, so it's already installed in my system, so it's working fine. If not installed, then you can use that conda install or pip install, and you can install it. If you're still you facing issue, you can go ahead and look into that Python playlist where I explain how to do that installation of any library. Okay. So now I created one variable that connect. And I'm using that PyODBC dot connect and driver is SQL server and server name, whatever I showed you, I'm passing it here. So this one you can see on the first time also, or else you can go and you can see it here that server name is there. Okay. So that server name, then DB name and connection trust is. So if I go ahead and execute this one, we can see now it's got created. So now what we can go and do now, once connection is established, now we can try to create one cursor that we need that. So now I created one variable that called cursor. And now I will go ahead and try to select that rows. Okay. So now you can see a select top five, a star from table person dot person i'm trying to create it whatever we try to uh, get it here so this is the db name then a schema name then table name so all those details i explained in my sql tutorial where i can explain what all this how we can do it and other things and in place of top thousand we we are going with top five okay and i'm using a star in place of column name. So those things, if you wanted to understand in more details, you can go and see my SQL playlist. Okay. So now if you can see, we are getting all those values. Later we'll see that how to, we can decorate it. Right now it's not in readable format easily. So we can try to do all those things in later video. But you can see that first one, first EM, false, none, Ken, J, all those things are coming. So if I go and show you is first one is first or is first em okay then false is coming then true and false is that name ken j all those things it's going to come it's false true and false it's zero and all it's coming in this format so those things also we can try to understand later point of how we can make that zero and one in place of uh, false and true okay so we are able to now connect it with that this tv okay so now once we are done with that now we need to close that so to close that we need to use that connection name variable on dot close okay and now i will go ahead and execute this one. once i done that after this if i try to execute that same code whatever we run on the top we'll get that error and reason behind is saying that our connection has been closed. Okay. So that's why best practice that when we are done with our things, every time we need to close our connection. 
okay so now this is that one way now i will show you how to connect with that other way okay where we are going to use that here i'm using again different version i have so i have two sql server so there i am passing that login name and password both of them and here my server name name is msi so if i can connect it and i can see that i have uh, only sql interview data yes so now we can go ahead with this so what i am going to do again i am going to connect this one with this so now this time i am using that new variable called on one i am passing that server name and here username i am passing sa2 in double bracket and my password is also password so i am passing this as well in double bracket and i am putting sql interview so if i can go ahead and if i can suppose if i can put that test that sir that db is not there so if I try to do that connection, we'll get that error stating that database name is not correct. So it's taking some time since it's wrong. So we can see that database test is wrong. So it's not able to connect. Now I will go ahead and provide that correct one. Then it will connect easily. So it's got connection successfully. So now this time what I'm going to do. Now I'm creating again one cursor in cursor one variable. So now that got created. Okay. And now this time I will go and try to see one of that table name. So where's that? We'll go it here. We'll go to table. So we'll try to see that table one values. Okay. So I can go ahead and paste it. So now we see that here all those number of rows are coming. So if I can go ahead and do that. So you can see it now. Okay. So now this one is also coming 10 rows. And if I go ahead and here we can see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so ten rows here also we are getting so in this way we can do that connect to our sql server in python and then we can try to do that all those manipulation whatever we need that from sql server and we can close every time so if i can go here also and if i can put on one dot Okay. now that connection got closed so first of all you can try to do that connection if you are facing any issue please let me know i will go ahead and uh, create that in next video i will explain how we can try to create new db new table and all those other things yeah. thank you